to turn now to flooding that Detroit will never forget. Weeks of severe flooding last summer damaged hundreds, if not thousands of homes and filled freeways with water. Part of the concern was pumping stations designed to redirect the overflow didn't have working electricity. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham laying out new changes to improve the system. The Great Lakes Water Authority says the steps it's taken with these transformers won't necessarily prevent flooding like what we saw last summer. However, those measures will make sure the pumps keep on working. I'm excited to announce that both Frood and Blue Hill pump stations have been converted. Leaders with the Great Lakes Water Authority say these transformers now have reliable power through DTE. Last summer's flash flooding in late June put them to the test. Eight inches of rain in a short span of time overtaking roadways, vehicles, and basements, like Mandel Berryman's. Somebody got to step up and get it right. Berryman, who lives across the street from the Frood pumping station, says his basement and bins are still damaged. At the time, Gliwa says the pumps stopped working and that a wire that provides electricity to the transformer had been cut accidentally by a contractor. The transformer was no longer supplying power to the pumping stations. Now, the organization says each of the three transformers have a wire of their own, a better guarantee to keep the pumping stations operating during rain events. What they're doing here, does that provide any peace of mind? It's got a little peace in it, but we'll see when it comes aboard because like I said before, uh, we got to see it happen. But no matter how well the pumping stations work, Gliwa Interim Chief Executive Officer Suzanne Coffey made it clear the biggest limiting factor in the system are the pipes. Most of the communities around here, the pipes, the systems combined. You likely have drainage out in the front of the house on the street and you have wastewater going to the back of the house and at the end of the block those two pipes come together. So this is why the ch it's, it's such a challenge. People say, why don't you just put more pumps in the pump stations? Because the pipes themselves are just not big enough to carry the flow. Gliwa leadership says they plan to make the same upgrades at their transformers over on the west side. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Darren.